Learn anything? I suppose it's on to the next battle. Yes. You won an important one today. If I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life. Such as it is. I mean, I... It caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious devil. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty. much for that boat. An arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think you might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidant. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed.
Oh, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. You got something for me, don't ya? Lunda. Right. Business time. Here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elka's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Hey, Freya. How you doing? Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? You will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Thank me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming. Hello! Good to see the chimes working as intended. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines. All part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick Freak. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Well. I'll leave you to it. Talks to squirrels now, huh?
Oh, come on, man. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joints getting classier by Can the it day. Be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long, what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone. The way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you are going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Dad, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Great. Right. Break the code! 
Lots of Hellwalkers. Definitely in Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. Yep. Home sweet home. Gotta find some shelter. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? Alka! What is it you want? Alka! Trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard, then, line. I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the cold.
I find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house! Oh, no. Charlie! Oh, no. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! Stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't... Help if you don't... Emily! Emily! I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow. It's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From around in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? I wonder what happened to her. Is this... Baldur's? I wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. Okay, buddy, okay. I'll get you warmed up. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. You're welcome. Where do I go now? I can't stay. I just can't let my dad die too. 
There's got to be something I can do. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. <laughs> 